Or shall we? Oh yeah. Keep now, ladies hand. and gentlemen, this is the place where we believe that Jesus Christ was baptized. Now, in order to understand the geography of the river and the geography of this place, I want to, I want you to look at this picture here, okay? Which is mosaic that was done um, in Madaba, Mount Nebo, where we're going to see it tomorrow. The river is the snaky shape sometimes, and a little branch of that, which is that one down there, and they just covered like a podium here with four bases, which probably on top they had some kind of construction, believing that Jesus Christ took off his clothes from here and went down to the water. Now, let's put it this way. John the Baptist was not in a very deep water. John the Baptist, as we see it in pictures, and logically, that he was in kind of a shallow water where he could walk down, okay? And people from different ages would go down to the water and then baptize them, okay? So, first of all, it's a, it's a kind of a shallow water, and the Jordan, most of the time shallow, unless there is a flash flood. Now, the second thing that all historians who are mentioned here, okay, from different periods of time, they mention how this church was built on top of a place that they believe the baptism happened. Now, 600 or 6th century AD, which means like 540 years after Christ. 540 years after Christ for history is nothing. I mean, we talk about thousands of years and we still can't prove it. Okay? So 500 years and mentioned by the early historians that this is the place where he was <coughs> baptized, plus the Bible says it's Bethany beyond the Jordan and like 5 miles north of the Dead Sea. So they came and they did their archaeology here and they found remains of a church. And those people also, they mentioned how marble stairs lead down to the water and they found them down there. Now, the church was built for the first time and then it was destroyed probably by a flood. They built another church, destroyed by a flood. They insisted and they built another church, a third church, and also... Uh, destroyed by a flood. So they kept building this church in the same place. Now, if it is a house, for no reason, your house is destroyed by a flood, you just move. It is not safe. Now, this has a story that they focused on building this church in this place. And the only story here is what? The baptism. Okay? The only story here is the baptism. So that's how they proved that that is the church, plus some kind of inscription on mosaics described the event. And the marble stairs leading down to the water, and the water test and the soil test proved that this was a little branch of the Jordan, where probably the story happened. Now, at the end, the Bible says he was baptized in the river. Now, it's good to know it's the river. Now, whether this side or that side, it's the river the water of the river, the blessings of the river. But it's nicer also to know exactly somehow where he was baptized. Okay? Now, that's what you see down there. Those